Okay, little onyx, go inside. <laughs> go inside, little fluffy. There you go. Get your treats in there. And we got Boots the Confederate Cat up there. I don't want to make too serious of a bit. Here's Mama. That's what Onyx looks like. <laughs> Mama. It's, Dixie takes after him. I don't want to make uh, too serious of a video here, but uh, you know, there's a reason why I got such a strong like feeling to anything Confederate. And um, really what it is is my ancestors are screaming from the graves. Um, literally. You see, I got to sew that flag up there, the big one. I'm going to be stitching them up. They're getting kind of torn up in the wind. Uh, I did not know about my Confederate heritage until maybe, oh, five years ago. And I knew vaguely a couple things, but really nothing. And then I got the specifics. And I found, you know, I got quite a few of them uh, with my last name, direct and uh, uncles third great grandfather and third great uncles and I saw cousins from the mother's name and uh, I just called up uh, SEV headquarters I was trying to find out uh, what the hell they mean by collateral lineage you know is that how far does that go you know cousin of a cousin you know and they said as long as you can prove something you know you're fine you're good to go uh, any kind of kin I'm not sure if that works like that way for the orders of stars and bars, but uh, I should have two officers with my last name from South Carolina that are um, not like uncles, but well, they're if you go back to my fifth great grandfather and go up that way, a couple generations or one generation, well, I think they're pretty strong ties. Actually, to tell you the truth, one of them is he was. Um, high up surgeon uh, the other one was a lieutenant and a captain but the one I wanted I just picked it up off it but I said to myself God the, all these people with my last name um, in this one I don't want to say the name of the regiment South Carolina they only had out of a thousand in a regiment 52 survived my third great uncle was one of them but there's a load more with my last name and cousins that are of the mother's name and of the other mother's name that were in that regiment, I bet you they're all, they all were killed. All 52 survived out of 1,000, so what do you think? So why do you think I have such a strong, because uh, I'm, I'm born and raised in New Jersey, near New York City, but uh, your DNA is in you. It's in you. Right, Feather? That's uh, Boots' girlfriend, Boots the Confederate cat, huh? Your eye is still not healed up all the way, Bubba. But uh, maybe I'm taking after my surgeon, uh, fourth grade uncle, whatever. <laughs> he's pretty, he's actually pretty close related to me. So I just looked him up right now. I said, but I said, look, and I said, oh my God. I didn't even look into like the mother's maiden names and stuff. There's so many different ways, because. Uh, South Carolina, basically everybody freaking fought for the Confederacy over you know, in that area. And uh, where my family was from is uh, right where Sherman's march, after he did his march to the sea, uh, through Georgia and he turned up through South Carolina, he went right directly through where my family was. And you wonder why the hell, I, I, you know, because I'm not, I'm not playing, I feel like really strong with this, very strong with this. I ain't giving up on it. There's not going to be anything to stop me except death. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> you see the one big flagpole with the revolving truck. You know, it still wraps around a pole once in a while, but it gets unscrewed. But you notice the skinnier one, the skinnier pole with the, uh, it's that steel. The flag works pretty good with that one because it's a skinny pole. But it's a steel pole, so it's strong enough, you know, to handle the, you know, from getting bent up. But uh, I, have to, I got to get my sewing kit out here, and be because that one, those flags aren't really cheap. They ain't cheap, man. I'm hoping to get. It. I've only been up there. Uh, see, uh, six months, five months. 
Yeah, five months. It torn up pretty good. So, we sewn them up. But yeah, I could tell you, man. You know, that's I think that's the proof. Because when I came down, to, I was coming. I said, when I got out of the Marine Corps, now I know in California, they said, don't go to the East Coast. I said, well, you know what? It's not the East Coast. It's the Northeast. And it's not even the entire Northeast. It's like... Around New York City, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Washington D.C. That's where it's Boston. That's where it's all messed up. Uh, so, but I said, you know, I ain't going up there. I mean, I'm going to go southeast. You know, and I figured. Now, I almost went to South Carolina and uh, Darlington, Florence, uh, Darlington, Marlboro area, where my family was from. And uh, I didn't even know they were from there. I didn't even know that at the time. I thought it was Virginia, to tell you the truth. But I almost went there. See, now it's unfurled. <laughs> and uh, I came down. I says, you know, so looking further south towards, like, and I just went and looked in Florida. And I says, I don't want to go really far south Florida. I want to go to, like, where it looks more like hills. So I went to uh, Marion. I actually went at Marion County. Actually, that's the biggest flag in Marin County right now. And what spurred me, I wasn't even i wasn't even in an SCV camp when I put that, I was a, a member in general when I put that flag up. And I, I wasn't even in the camp, local camp at the time when I did that. So, I'm telling you though, right? So I don't know what the hell the requirements, <laughs> I know in the SAR, man, you gotta have like, so much the sons of the American Revolution, you're gonna have so much lineage. And I got my fifth and sixth great grandfather with my last name, uh, and I, I chose my other fifth great grandfather through a mother's side who was uh, he was a scout in Marion's uh, brigade. I'm thinking, hey, Marion County, they're in any of my SAR membership, all of, in it. Also the captain, uh, what was it, captain, uh, not with my last name, but, I mean, one jump over and it's got my last name, right, he was a, his daughter was my fifth great grandmother or something, he, well, yeah, she was, and uh, he was a Marion, he was a captain under General Francis Marion, actually the American Revolutionary War was won mainly in the south. If it wasn't for the Battle of Utah Springs, the British would have been able to supply uh, Cornwallis a lot more at Yorktown, and Washington wouldn't have been successful against Cornwallis. And also, you know, of course, if the French and whole the French Navy and Army weren't there, Washington wouldn't have been successful. And even then, when the war, when that, when Cornwallis surrendered, the Revolutionary War wasn't completely over with. There was still stuff going on in Fort Detroit you know they call it, I think they called it Fort Detroit there was battle big bad major battles going on after even after Cornwallis surrendered sort of like with the war between the states or the war of northern aggression uh, you know after you know Appomattox you know Stan Whitey is uh, Confederate last Confederate general to surrender Cherokee and actually, the guy that did the, uh, I don't want to mention any names, I don't mention, mention names on here, but I don't know, maybe he'll, uh, he knows stuff about uh, the Cherokee Confederates, the one I just did the video on, uh, let me, you know, record it for the Sons of America Revolution, talking about the Navajo Code Cockers and uh, also Lakota, he's got a lot of knowledge, let me tell you the truth, he, he thinks, uh, I'm probably, you, you don't know it yet, but I'm probably more anti-freaking government than he is, believe it or not. I don't know where they like, I'm going to wonder, man, but I thought it was my Italian side too doing that, but I think it's the Confederate side. <laughs> right there, Feather. She's a cutie pie. We take good care of you, little girl. I could tell her, she's got now, you see the little weight tuft in her front like that? It's another way to tell her apart from Onyx. Fur is a little longer. She's got a little more triangular head. And, uh... If I pick her up, she's lighter, and she's she's she's, uh, she's more okay with that. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna just tell you, man. Your DNA is, tells you, you it's in you, man. Your ancestors' memories 
And now I look at, holy smokes, man. I, I've seen a number of cousins with my last name that must have been killed in action in uh, Confederacy. And the ones that are, you know, directly related or very closely, like uh, their great uncles, uh, they went through years of hell as privates. So, this is why this stuff has gotten into me so much. It's in me, period. It's in me, period. It's there. It's there. And it goes back prior to that. Um, I got direct ancestry to World of 1812. Uh, the Seminole Wars. The South Carolinians were coming down here to take over. I know somebody's going to bitch about that, but yeah, definitely. Uh, right, Boots? <laughs> His eye is still messed up, but what are you going to do about it, man? Your fur looks good. You still can see with your other eye, right? Anyway, it might be good eventually. I don't know. Still giving him vitamins and colloidal silver, so. But uh, I figured I'd mention this while it's fresh in my head because, uh, and you can see the way I talk. I mean, I'm from I'm from New Jersey, 11 miles from Manhattan, New York, Manhattan, 11 miles away. I could see when I was younger. I could walk up the hill and I could see the Empire State Building and skyline out in the distance. That's where I was from, where I was born. Well, my grandfather was South Carolinian. Now, obviously, that is still, that's definitely in me. There's no doubt about it. And now that I look at what happened to most of my family and what the hell they went through, what even the ones that didn't die, what they survived, I can tell you that still has, has a lot to do with why uh, I feel so strongly about all this stuff. It has to do with it. It's not just one relative, two relatives. There's literally dozens, dozens. I counted um, six with my last name, just in this one regiment out of Darlington County. And uh, five of them, I think, were killed. One of them that survived was my third great uncle. Another one, the reg and also, uh, the cousins, not not even what my last name, but directly, very closely from uh, the mother's maiden name, and you know the mothers on both sides, right? So you got the mother's name and the other maiden maiden name. I don't want to go mention this stuff on YouTube what the names are, but uh, they must have been killed. There must have been literally dozens of very close family that were killed in that war, and then Sherman went through my family's farms and houses and stuff. Whatever he did, I don't know. I don't have a written record, but I know it wasn't nice. So, you know, that's all in me. So, this is, has a lot to do with why I'm, you know, I'm telling you, man. I can freaking, I'm really kind of burned up with the freaking politics going on with this bullshit. I don't even want to say what I think about him. I got more respect for cockroaches that crawl on the ground than worms, to tell you the truth, than the politics the way they are today. So, anyway, but yeah, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to prove, uh, you know, I mean, I know I could prove this link to an, off, a, an officer. I don't know how strong a link they need for the order of the stars and bars if you just got to prove, you know, he's your third great ankle once removed or something I don't know how you freaking call that crap but he's, he's definitely uh, he's definitely linked he's got my last name he's definitely linked to my uh, I think it's uh, yeah my fourth great grandfather my third great grandfather was in a war my fourth great grandfather's son was the officer with my last name so how the, what the hell does that make him? I'm not sure. But that's, that's not even that far of a jump. So I could probably get into the uh, orders of the, order, the military orders of stars and bars. So we're giving them hell. And uh, I'm going to be looking up uh, how to get the uh, uh, 1851 uh, mountain howitzer. It'll, it, and uh, <laughs> but sure, the hell, we got some more engine goop here for the put the uh, 
<laughs> We're gonna be running this stuff in here. Make sure the seals, the, the pistons and the rings and stuff. I don't know, I think the short block on this thing was rebuilt before. Uh, but I put the cam in there and the Edelbrock. The cat food's up there. Gotta take good care of the Boots the Confederate Cat and his little family there. We have to put some of this in there. So, anyway, just a quick update. We'll be having a lot of car videos for you coming up in a couple minutes. And some stuff about health. Um, about uh, Nagalese. I don't know how much stuff I want to say about all this garbage because we are getting kind of restrictive about things, man. But there's a conspiracy out there to kill our health, man. Right, girly? Yeah. You sweetheart, man. Anyway, and uh, we ever find Paws the cat? Paws is the one that looks like 50% of her, 50% of him. He's she, he's black on the top, white on the bottom. So he's he's got the black color from her. She's got she's got that same fluffy tail. That's why I call her feathers. She has a tail like a feather duster. And he's got the the white paws like him, like boots. With the white in the front on the breast and the white on the bottom, with the black on the top with the bushy tail. I swear to God, he's the one that looks like a 50 50 mixture of both his parents. Right? So, how's your eye doing, Boo Boo? Get your third eyelid closed still? You, you, uh, you, you them Yankees got you, huh? Anyway, now, now I found out I got an ancestor that was a surgeon in the uh, South Carolina. South Carolina. Got his picture too. Uh, he's definitely my ancestor. Definitely, there's no doubt about it. I looked at. He's definitely. He's the son of my fourth great grandfather. So and he's got my last name. He definitely, it's all. But you know, I don't know how. To, I don't. Know, I don't know how fussy the order of the stars of bars is, because you know, I know the S A R, the Sons of the American Revolution, and the Sons of Confederate Veterans, got totally different parameters on. How strict they are. <laughs> Sons of American Revolution is, is not easy to get into, man. You, it's like you got to have, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of people in the, S, in the Sons of Confederate Veterans that would be in the SAR if they had the records. And I know the uh, United Daughters of the Confederacy are. Uh, I think they're stricter than the uh, the SEV, the Sons of Confederate Veterans, and I think the Daughters of the American Revolution are probably stricter than the Sons of the American Revolution. But the Sons of the American Revolution really, they are real sticklers on the freaking records, man. But I'm not sure about the Order of Stars and Bards. If I could take, what the hell would that be? My, the son of my fourth great-grandfather. So that would be the uncle of my third. Let wait a minute. He would just be my um, great 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 uncle. He would just be one jump over. Shit, I probably would qualify. I don't know. I don't want to get my hopes up or nothing, but <laughs> be another thing I got. But I noticed another officer besides that. But this one I just saw it right away. It says. I mean, I didn't even dig. I must. Have, I must have, literally, very. I must have many dozens of close relatives in South Carolina that were killed in that war. This is why I am so hot on this stuff. And I said again, this is like my ancestors are screaming from the grave. And I know I'm putting up flags and stuff, but I feel very strongly about this. And I told you what the Confederate Constitution was about. It wasn't. Uh, it was about limiting. It wasn't states' rights. Even it was more like. Limiting the revolving door between monopolistic crony capitalists in Washington, D.C. Every single appropriations bill had to have on it spelled spelled out, you know, what the, what the money was going to be for. It wasn't like you could throw everything in the kitchen sink on an omnibus spending bill. That was outlawed. The president had line item and veto. And also they had limits on infrastructure spending. What is infrastructure spending? In other words, that's how you, you know anybody any anybody that knows anything about real business. Oh, you want a government contract because you're set for life. So, what's infrastructure spending? 
I got it all over. I got it on my bike. You know, it's got flags everywhere, man. So what is that? See, they define it. They define it. So, all right, I'm very, very, I want to mention, I'm very, very disappointed is Mayor Dombrowski from Bellevue, Florida, who, uh, every year she let the SCV put the flag up in front of the court, uh, the city hall. A couple of yo-yos complained about it. So she backed down. She backed down. And then I want to tell you, um, you, know, you can boost the Confederate cat here in the front with the <laughs> General Lee flag. I want to say, uh, you know, I respect highly this Kent Gwynn from Ocala, the mayor, who was uh, stuck with the proclamation on Confederate Memorial Day. 15 to 1, they don't tell you this in the major media, but I got it out of the Dixie Heritage Newsletter. 15 to 1, he's getting uh, responses from constituents approving of, you know, what he's, he's the, the, the proclamation. It was just an honor to Confederate soldiers who fought for, you know, Southern independence, which is more than, you know, you know, it's, it's, not, it's a couple more things in there, but it didn't say nothing bad. But 15 to 1, 15 to 1, what is that, like 80-something percent of the people want it? And you're going to count down, see this Mayor Dabrowski in uh, Bellevue, she's a coward and a half. It's disgust the hell out of me. Yeah, long enough video here, but uh, anyway. <laughs> Great boots, go out there and hunt some Yankees again. Freaking funny guy. I don't know, maybe his eye will heal up, I don't know. Maybe it's, he can see out a little bit, I'm not sure. He sure looks pretty healthy. And once in a while, I hear him in the morning going, "Wow, he's chasing them. He's chasing people away that are trying to eat the food for the, his family." So, anyway, over and out from Confederate Miami land here, Confederate cat farm, over. <laughs>